Now, is there anything better than a good hide and seek game? I'm sitting here in the planter. This is the vent lawn, or in other words, the wedding reception area of the house. So check this video out. You and I, we never show emotions. We just keep it down, down inside. Yeah, you and I, both longing for expression for the things we like. Okay, so everyone needs that wedding lawn as we mentioned the event center. So as we look here, we have Basin 1. So in an earlier video, we talked about Bluebeam and how we work through civil uh, as built and integrate all that, you know, to our civil engineer and then of course our landscape or landscape architect as well as our pool company. Now, a big part of this entire design, as you can see here, we have this, uh, this plot plan of the project, right? The house, we did an earlier video here on the pool. This gives you a good, at least semi understanding of right here, the raised hot tub, Baja shelf, you know, slopes down. Here's that area that you can access the lazy river. And as I mentioned, that lazy river comes here underneath this cantilever deck with the fire pit. And again, this is that rectangle for the lazy river. And then this is the play area, right? That they can come in with steps walking down. This is two feet above. So there's a spillway that spills down into that lazy river. And then we have the turf right here. So this amazing pool system. But one of our favorite features here is basin one. So again, to optimize basin two, we have the wolf ball field now. This is our volleyball court. This is all grass. So with the, we're gonna take you out there to see, but essentially what we're doing is in the future, we're gonna have four steel columns here that are installed and these can be removed. So these are just installed the day of the event. Uh, event planning company could come out, put these four columns. We're gonna run a steel cable that connects uh, length and width, essentially 100 feet long, 50 feet wide. And then the cable here, and then we're gonna be running almost like a lattice or a trellis, you know, cabling in between. Now we can rope all of the patio lights. So you have these amazing bistro patio lights that'll be strung across, give you plenty of light, give you that romantic feel for any event, especially like a wedding reception. Permanently, here we're gonna have one column installed with some floodlights. And so this will be really good for just the main backbone of the lighting for this entire area, as well as throughout the year, when the clients aren't using the event, this is their volleyball area. So we'll have a volleyball net here, we have plenty of lighting to play at night, and they can play sand volleyball here in this area. So let's take you back there so that you can see these retainage areas and how we're doing that. But more importantly, here in the corner, we have a dry well. And we want to show you this detail because the dry well is really important. As you can see here, this is uh, essentially, we have 75 feet, a 75 feet deep of dry well here. And so all of the water of the project comes down, it comes to this base and everything's sloped that way. And it brings down, we have about, right here you have roughly 18 feet of this concrete chamber where the water's coming down. And then from that 18 feet down to 75 feet, uh, so 57 feet down, we have all the drains and then the river rock, right? That dry well that dries up very quickly. So now this allows us to have more of a flush backyard because all the water going to this dry well, which can retain a ton of water. So let's take you out back now so you can see what this looks like through construction. So I'm standing here, this is a retaining wall. It's roughly 30 inches tall. The benefit now when you think about code having a retaining wall 30 inches is we don't have to have guard railing. So part of the basin one, which we have here, we don't have to have guard railing. You can see here, this is this big planter that I just jumped out of. We have two here. So you have these beautiful lush uh, planters. We're going to have hedging and plants all around this area. And this is a hybrid out here. We have two things um, working in this area. We have one, which is the volleyball. So throughout the year, this is all grass here in the middle. Actually right here in the middle, we're going to have our volleyball net. And now we have some amazing grass volleyball for most of the year. But as I mentioned, it's a hybrid. So this is also gonna convert into the wedding lawn, right? Or the reception area or the event center, if you will. Now what ends up happening is in each corner, we mentioned earlier in the video that we have the dry well. We're gonna be putting in a dry well here in the corner that helps with all the water retention on the project. But in each of the four corners here, we're gonna have a temporary standard or a temporary tube steel column that is uh, heavily secured, that'll be set the day of the event or the day before as they're setting up. And then we have a cable. So this is roughly 100 feet wide. So we're gonna have a cable tensioned running east to west here, or west to east, I should say. Same thing on this backside. And then you think of it like a lattice, as I mentioned, we're gonna have cabling running across. So that now those bistro lights, those patio lights can be hung out here and give you that amazing light. Now here in the middle right there, you're gonna, we're gonna have a permanent column there. And that's the permanent column that I mentioned on the drawing back there. And that's gonna give the light out here but one of my favorite details out here is you can't have a wedding pavilion without being extremely decorated we mentioned the planters here all the lush landscaping again you're gonna have some amazing amazing views here of the house 
the structure itself, all the facade details, the amazing pool, the trampoline barn, wolf ball field in the corner, and the RV garage here. But more importantly, the stones. So these retaining walls on the inside, so on the inside, the 30 inches will be wrapped in stone. We're gonna come over the top of stone, and then we're gonna return stone down. So we had essentially have this U, this three-sided stone. So all of this retention wall will not be a standard stucco or gray brick, it's gonna be this beautiful stone. So now you're really creating this amazing little envelope here for family, for relatives, anyone that wants to access this center for an amazing reception. And heck, when you're not playing volleyball, you put the DJ there in the middle, you have uh, the food, all the seating area, the bistro lights, and it's gonna be just an amazing setting for our clients.